Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Environment Matters. I'm Mike Huff. Crews have made significant progress on a major stream restoration project in the Kanawha State Forest that includes the removal of a nearly century old dam. Contractors adapted a piece of mining equipment to begin grinding away the dam. It's a slow process, but it allows crews to bring the dam down a little bit at a time. Soon, the waters of Davis Creek will flow freely through this area. The dam that formed Ellison Pond in the Kanawha State Forest was never intended to be used for flood control. It was built in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps to create a swimming area. Over the years, sediment washing in from upstream became trapped behind the dam, nearly filling it to the rim. Dredging the pond didn't help in the long term since it would eventually just fill back in with sediment. The stream restoration project recreates what Davis Creek would have looked like before the dam was built, with a little help from a lot of earth moving. We've speeded it up a bit for you. Uh, yeah, we're starting to make progress. The pond's been dewatered. Uh, the actual excavation and, and dirt movings began. Uh, part of the dam has been removed. Um, it hasn't been taken down to final grade yet. The fine sediment is being removed from where the stream channel will be constructed. Uh, larger material will be brought in. Uh, gravel will be brought in to use for riffles. Uh, you see larger rocks around the site. Those larger rocks will be used to construct stream structures. Uh, things such as cross veins, uh, J-hooks. Uh, these structures will be utilized in the stream to help mobilize the sediment and keep what's happened here at Ellison Pond from happening again within the, within the construction area. Getting all that right requires a fair degree of precision. These excavators have been equipped with GPS devices, so operators can use a virtual 3D map of the design stream contour to place their buckets with near inch perfect accuracy. Six weeks into the construction and the site has seen some big changes. It's going to be a very drastic difference uh, from what it was when the pond was here. Uh, now it's going to be more of a natural stream channel uh, with, with riffles and pools. Uh, there will be uh, fishing access. They'll keep the Class Q designation. Uh, fishing piers that are ADA compliant will be constructed at the end of the project. The structures that we're going to put in uh, we're putting in some oversized cross veins that will create larger pools. Those pool areas can then be stocked with trout uh, in the spring and the fall during the DNR's regular trout stockings and, and be utilized by, by the public as a, as a similar fishery to what there was before, uh, but it'll be, it'll be a little different. Uh, you know, it'll be more, more of a moving water-based fishery, uh, trout, and there'll probably be some small sunfish and bass still throughout the reaches. Besides the former pond area, crews are making improvements upstream for nearly a mile to improve the overall fish habitat. The project is funded through the DEP's in lieu fee program and weather permitting is hoped to be finished by the end of November. For Environment Matters, I'm Mike Huff. Thanks for watching.